you know you always want to think about keeping this knee strong mm -hmm. because they're going to want to bring it in. Mm -hmm. So I like to get this like kind of like running stance like I'm about to push off for a sprint. So both of my feet, you can see, they're both facing forward and both my knees are slightly bent. So I have a really stable base, but I'm not like I'm on a balance beam. I want to be like shoulder width, so I have good balance. I'm going to immediately address the hook because I don't want you to start using the hook to go to my back to elevate me to do any of these. I like to have my hands pretty much constantly on their shins so that I can control what their legs are doing. Because usually with this one, you're going to want to start kicking. So usually I time my step over the leg with your kick. So I use the energy of your kick to bring my leg out, like kind of out of the way, and then bring it to a step over your leg like this. So once I get here, now I can start cutting my angle for the knee cut. So I'm gonna put my hip here, or my hand on your hip, open the leg, and go in for the knee cut. Best case scenario, I get here, I've killed your reverse de la Hiva because you can feel how I'm kind of like sitting in your hip like this. If I was up higher, you can catch reverse de la Hiva. Mm -hmm. But I wanna use my elbow and this hand to spread you and make you do the splits so that I kill the reverse de la Hiva. And my hip is tight. I don't want any space here. This is when you're gonna bring in your knee shield. And I just wanna avoid that completely. Like I don't wanna have to deal with your knee shield. So I don't want my elbow on the outside here where you can knee shield me. I want my elbow on the inside so that I can block your knee shield and even your lasso with my back and shoulder here. And now it's kind of up to you. Normally, I think I'm grabbing the collar to like stay close to you. I don't want you to push me out because you're gonna be framing and stuff. So I'm gonna be here and I can switch my chest like this to kind of clear your frames. And then I'm usually looking for like a shallow hook here. So I'll usually grab like on the back because I don't wanna just underhook wide because you're just gonna re-pummel. Yeah, now I'm in a bad spot. So I like to keep my elbow close, like close to me, and just kind of ease it in and stay really tight and low and just grab your back. And then if you're bringing your head in, which usually they will be, to frame and stay tight, I'm gonna be head right under your chin, spreading you out like this, okay? And then I'm not knee cutting to the side because that's gonna put a lot of stress on your knee and they're gonna catch your leg. I'm gonna knee cut down like this so I can stay tight to your hip because if I go here, there's gonna be space again. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can get your knee shield again. I wanna stay super tight, knee cutting down and then doing the park the car finish like we normally do staying hip to hip. If I can get this, great, isolating the arm. If I can't get this, usually I'll go here and trap the arm and stabilize and start attacking far side arm bar or put you on your side, Kimura, whatever. And what's the detail with the pressure because your shin pressure is, is uh -huh. fantastic. And what does, your, what does your toe look like in the bottom? Is it, is it like, Flex or is it kind of flat driving in? I think it's flexed. Let me see. Yeah, it's flexed. This one's flexed? Yeah, so I'm like this. I think a lot of it is the hip pressure here. So you're driving from your hip to your shin. So yeah, like I'm I'm sitting with my hip. Okay. So I'm not like straight up and down like this. Mm -hmm. I'm like this. And I'm using this foot on the ground as well. This is like my kickstand. And I'm just gonna drive it to you with that. If I feel in danger, because sometimes you know they're gonna try to grab this leg, I'll like always be aware of that. And I can always grab this here mm -hmm. instead. But I normally feel like if I'm low enough and I'm putting enough pressure, like it's not really gonna do anything for me to grab this leg. And sometimes I like this as I pass if they try to grab this leg because it just Makes it easier for me to like staple, staple the legs, yeah, staple the arm. Awesome. Oh, that's the most basic.